So Mianzi is a, is a face. I mean, if you if you translate it literally, it's a face, but it's also a reputation. Losing face is a very big thing in China. I think no, not only in China, in Asia overall. So that's important when you have a negotiation with with Chinese partners, for example, or Chinese clients, partners, whoever, uh, that if you have a leader in the group and you can't um, criticize him or her directly in front of his or her employees because that's what's going to make him or her lose the face. And if you're going to make an, a Chinese person lose the face, they're going to hate you forever. They're not going to do business with you because they're going to feel ashamed. It's more about the status. How do I look in the community, in the society? Am I strong enough? Am I important enough? Like if you're an intern in the company, for example, you cannot criticize your supervisor or say something really radical against his way of doing, saying things or anything like that. Um, because that's what's going to make him or her lose face, which is very unacceptable in the culture. Chinese people really um, pay a lot of attention to keep their face. It's like uh, your, your, your self-esteem. Recently we have all heard about the uh, uh, notorious scandal of uh, Dolce Gabbana and that really uh, made Chinese consumers very angry. So that really hurt Chinese people's feelings. And Chinese people need to be recognized, appreciated. It's just been like 70 years after the establishment of the new republic. China is like a poor, was a poor country that, uh, how to say, uh, was uh, looked down upon by the foreigners. And now Chinese people became stronger. Face for them is becoming uh, even more important. They don't want to be hurt, especially regarding the cultural aspect. Uh, donc cet, uh, cet aspect de la face, donc le mianzi, en gros pour faire simple, c'est le concept de, de l'honneur. Euh, on dit souvent que le chinois va toujours répondre par un, par un oui qui ne veut pas forcément dire euh, oui euh, et également le non ne veut pas forcément dire non. Le chinois par, euh, par souci de ne, vouloir, de ne pas vouloir perdre euh, la face eh ben, ne dira pas non pour offusquer finalement son, euh, son interlocuteur. Mais encore une fois, cette, ce, ce, ce constat ne va pas être euh, à prendre mot pour mot dans toutes les situations. Là, quand je suis arrivé en Chine personnellement, je pensais, voilà, il ne faut, faut jamais dire non, c'est impossible, enfin, c est, c est, c est, ce sera mal vu, donc j'ai essayé de dire, finalement, je disais presque oui à tout. Je me suis retrouvé dans des situations un peu <rire> loufoques. <rire>